Well, thank you very much. Uh, what a special day this is uh, and a special place we are in. Uh, the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum is open to all of us in the, the entire state of Illinois, the, the United States of America, and we invite the entire world to come to Springfield, the city of Abraham Lincoln, to visit this special place, to see the museum and to really learn about Abraham Lincoln's special life. Uh, we were blessed by God to have Abraham Lincoln at a crucial time in our country's history. And as was mentioned, Abraham Lincoln always was a man of the people. From the day he was born to the day he died, he always believed in the power of everyday people to make lives better for the whole hu of humanity. And I think that's sort of what we're talking about today uh, as we gather here in the library and, and museum. Uh, we want to make sure that the people of the world know about Abraham Lincoln. And it's part of our special mission as citizens of Illinois. We have almost 13 million people in our state, and we call ourselves the Land of Lincoln. So each of us has a personal mission to reach out to people in our own state, but especially to people around the country and indeed around the world to make sure that they know about Abraham Lincoln's life. Something special about his life, perhaps a story or an anecdote, whatever the case might be, we have to be ambassadors from the land of Lincoln to the whole world to make sure that Abraham Lincoln's memory is always with us. And in the De Gettysburg Address that we're going to be reading today and setting a world record, how about that? We're re reading together with literally millions of people across uh, planet Earth, uh, our friends in Germany and Japan and other places. We want to make sure that the words of the Gettysburg Address that are etched on the wall of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. I went to college in Washington, D.C., and I remember the first night I got to Washington, my father and mother and my brother, uh, we went to the Lincoln Memorial at night, a special place indeed, and we saw those words that we're going to read etched on the wall. There are 272 words in the Gettysburg Address, uh, but the words summarize the essence of American democracy. They also summarize the essence of our gratitude to those who have given their last full measure of devotion to our country, to our democracy. There are men and women from Illinois today that we will be burying in the next week who gave their lives for us in Iraq and Afghanistan. So Abraham Lincoln's words in 1863 in November at Gettysburg, a very hallowed place, uh, they ring true today in 2009 in Illinois and in the United States of America. That was the dedication of a national cemetery, and it is, I think, important for all of us today to make sure that those who give their last full measure of devotion to our country, to our democracy, they are never forgotten. Their, their lives, they did not die in vain. It's our duty, the living, to carry on their memory and never forget them. And I think that's what Abraham Lincoln was telling us uh, back in 1863. And I think those words are enshrined forever in our hearts. Uh, I think the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, a special place indeed, uh, is somewhere that Americans can go and always tell Abraham Lincoln, thank you for what you did to save the Union and to inspire all of us every day to carry on the great work of democracy. So I think without further ado, we're going to ask President Lincoln to come forward from the White House. Uh, we want to give him a rousing Illinois welcome. On behalf of the people of the land of Lincoln, President Lincoln. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation 
or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living rather, to be dedicated to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Well, I want to thank everyone who participated today here in Springfield, as well as around our state, all the boys and girls uh, in class, I think this is a great day to learn about the life of Abraham Lincoln, to learn about how he wrote the uh, Gettysburg Address, uh, to learn uh, about how Abraham Lincoln saved our union, and uh, about his other speeches, uh, especially the second inaugural address where Abraham Lincoln talked about with charity for all and malice towards none. I think those are words that uh, are the inspire all Americans, now and forever. And I think today, an inspirational day, we should thank God for giving us Abraham Lincoln from the state of Illinois, our president, our 16th president. And we say to the world, please come to Illinois, please come to Springfield, uh, learn more about the Gettysburg Address and Mr. Lincoln and President Lincoln, and together we can make the will of the people the law of the land. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Good luck to you, sir. Yeah, I Thank you all for coming. We hope to have had as many as 300,000 people participating in the ceremony today. We won't know unless you tell us. So please, those in the audience today, make sure you fill out a form at the desk. And for those online, please download the form and get it back to us by March 1st. Thank you so much. Well done. Well, thanks again, Mr. President.